Very good morning. Hello. Happy morning. No, it's afternoon now. Af good afternoon. I've been to the dentist this morning and there's a story about that and you might hear my voice is a little bit croaky because uh, I've not been feeling too well. Um, yeah, but uh, we won't go into that. Because, um, <laughs> you know, the crazy. Uh, but don't forget to drop me in a like down below. As it's Wednesday, Wednesday Wisdom, you know the drill by now. So drop me in a like down below if you're feeling charitable. Drop me in a little comment, a little hello as well. They always help and make me feel good. Uh, and it's good to feel good. Um, so I'm going to talk about my little trip to the dentist, which is quite an interesting experience. Excuse me one second. And um, basically, um, my oral health has, has improved a fair bit over the years because when I was a kid, obviously I was an overweight kid. My diet wasn't great. And then in my teens, that's when I really started to get my fillings because I think I've got 13 fillings and a tooth missing. So that's the byproduct of crappy diet, not brushing my teeth as a kid and smoking as, as in my teens and then into my adulthood. So I've got quite a, um, I've not got a great set of gnashers. Um, so I've just been to the dentist and um, basic checkup, um, 23 quid for seven minutes. We're all in the wrong business. And basically, um, she did a bit of scraping on the bottom teeth because is it calculus has built up. Um, um, I, I, that might not be a, that might not be a, the right word. That might, that's a mathematical thing. But anyway, we're, we're going to go with it. Callus, calculus, something like that. And uh, yeah, we're live, folks. So let's just crack on. And uh, it was quite painful. It didn't last too long. She was scraping the bottom teeth, but it felt like she was trying to pull my teeth out. It was like ripping this stuff up. And um, what was interesting was she said, I said, oh, I need to start using my electric toothbrush. I do brush my teeth now, finally, I've finally got it. I do brush my teeth and, and, and use mouthwash. But I said, I'll have to start using my electric toothbrush. Went, yeah, because you, if, you, if you don't, you probably have to go through this again. And I, the first thought in my head was, um, well, what I do for a living in terms, of, uh, in terms of fitness and helping people with their fitness and, and like the things that we don't do and then have to go through the consequences later. And I just wanted to talk about that today because it's the 1st of December. And obviously we run an outdoor fitness group and we do it in a park. Now, we do it on the grass, it's muddy, it's wet, it's cold, it's dark. You can't get away from that. I mean, sometimes people say to me, oh, John, you know, I'm like, look, we ha we solve problems, we provide a service, we're a niche market, we do what we do. Uh, it's we, We're a big believer in getting people outdoors. Uh, we think it's much better for people all year round. Uh, of course, you get people who just want to do it when it's convenient, but that's fine, people are people. But truth is, when you say, for example, you exercise for forty-five minutes, like let's use a, let's use us as an example. We, if you exercise with us for forty-five minutes in the dark, wet, and cold, that's forty-five minutes of potential discomfort, yeah. But then the long-term benefits of doing that are, if you keep doing it, are, are massive. You know, better health, you know, better physical appearance, you know, more confidence, more energy. I mean, the list is endless. So with a dentist, if I just consistently brushing my teeth with my electric toothbrush every day, I probably won't have to go through that pain again, okay? So what happens is we often have to get to that painful point to realize that we need to change. And my advice is don't do that because there are a lot of people out there who are going to, at the moment, probably sit on, do nothing until, you know, next early next year and then wonder why it's so hard to get back into exercise um, because they, they've do, they do nothing, basically. So... Um, that's not a good plan. That is not a good idea at all. Now, hang on a second. This office is so annoying with the, with the sun. So I am still here. I am still here, I promise. Hang on, there we go. That's so annoying. So we're gonna do that. That's better. There you go, live video. Um, so my advice is go through the discomfort of exercising, eating better now, if it's discomfort versus the comfortable option of sitting on the sofa and eating rubbish. And in the long term, it'll pay off. Now, I need to start using my electric toothbrush. That is the prompt today to do that. Um, and there's a good metaphor in there to remember. So if you want any details on um, our six-week transformation program, you can either do that now. We can start you this year if you want, or we can start you next year. Uh, all you need to do is comment below with six weeks. Uh, we'll have a chat with you um, if we start in the new year. We've got some changes coming in the new year, some positive changes as well uh, in terms of how we operate, which will be good news. Uh, if you want to know any more about that or you want any details on our Women Only Group Fitness Program, comment below with six weeks. And don't forget to drop me a like before you go around or comment and share the video if you are feeling extra charitable. Live video. Rock and roll, let's go.